Well, you have to think of what Enbridge was 15 years ago. I mean, it was a small pipeline company, and now it's really a North American leader in transporting energy, all kinds of energy, whether it be wind, solar, gas, crude, you name it. And if you look at the asset base, it's doubled almost every five years. You know, so it went from a little company that not a lot of people were really interested in. I mean, pipelines, people think, oh, that's kind of boring. Now it's become this company of 9,500 people that is spread all over North America, that plans on doubling its asset base again in the next five years, that by the way has outpaced Apple in shareholder return in the last 20 years, and that's trying to hire 2,000 people in the next 10 months. You know, so it's a different landscape. You know, people are really interested in energy because energy matters. Well, for me, I look at Alberta and I say we have such a great gift in front of us. I mean, we're really the economic engine of the entire country. So how do we use that gift and how do we make sure that in 30 years we don't look back and say, did we pull the rest of the country with us? Did we do it together or did we exist in our bubble of Alberta? So for me, I'd say the biggest challenge for us is sparking the right discussions, ensuring that, you know, people that have been here for hundreds of years, people that have just moved to our country, whether they be Aboriginal, whether they be North American, whether they be from Europe, or East Asia, that we get together and we talk about what do we want to make this country of ours? You know, we have so many gifts and so many attributes that are admired from all over the world. What do we want it to really be in 30 years time? Well, if you look at Alberta, I mean, there's some Albertans that have been here for a couple hundred years, but there's a lot of Albertans that are from away. And as a result, I think what that brings with it is an understanding and appreciation for the rest of our country. So I do think we're ready to stand up and really take the stage and say, what can we be? What do we want to be? And how do we get there together? Well, I look at Alberta Venture and I look at how it's growing with the economy and with the province. You know, it's a different magazine now than when the first time I opened it, when I first moved to Alberta in 1998, you know. It's, it's a different magazine in a different place. And for me, I think it's a great way to reflect what's going on. You know, it's the place that makes us think about what do we want to be in 15 years. It's the place that shows us different kinds of leaders that represent our province. You know, it's funny, I was looking at the Global Sustainability Index and I was looking at the top three companies in Canada that are on the list. And you know, we are number two in Canada at Enbridge, that makes us number 71 on the list. They're all energy companies. And I think they're energy companies because energy companies know that with success comes an incredible amount of responsibility. And yes, we are natural resource companies and 50% of the wealth of Canada comes from natural resources. But it's our responsibility to ensure that we not only balance the requirements of the environment, but we actually use the contributions from our company to build future energy sources and that we use the contributions to protect the environment. You know, I think we forget that Alberta is not only the center of the oil sands, it's also the center for incredible environmental studies. It's a great place for reclamation work. I mean, we've become leading experts in the world on how you actually reclaim sites from things like oil sands. How do we take those skills and those benefits and use them all around the world? I mean, energy matters, right? There's no one that can debate it. If you turn on a light switch, you can't be yes for turning on your light switch and no for energy development. And we have to look at it, you know, you look at developing countries and they are craving to have energy because it drives economies. When I look at Gateway, for Enbridge, it's actually not financially significant. But for Enbridge, it's part of, if we are part of this Canadian fabric, we have got to have other alternatives for our resources. And if you look at the growth that's happening in Asia, there's no reason why Canadians should miss out on that. So when we reflect back, I hope we'll say, through Gateway, we actually sparked discussion. We started discussions that can happen between different groups, different stakeholders, different partners that actually strengthened our country versus tearing us apart.